Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. When you are in a debate with one person or more than one person, uh, make sure that you don't allow the conversation to be framed or the debate to be framed by your opponents unless you uh, think it's beneficial to you because you have certain counter arguments that you can knock them out. So try to frame uh, the issue or at least fight against other people framing the issue the way they want the issue to be discussed in certain kind of terms. Uh, and even if you agree, always start with no. Whenever you are about negotiating, start with no. Even if you like the deal, say no. The same here. Um, when you have people portraying a situation in a certain uh, you know, made up a bubble, you know, frame it in a certain way, do not accept their uh, framework or, uh, you know, the way they want you to getting discuss the conversation, discuss the issue only from their, you know, related only with their issue. Make it bigger. You have the right. Make it however you want. Add, subtract, do whatever you want out of all that because you are part of the conversation and you're a human being. They're, they are not your bosses, all right? They are, in, that, that, that sounds, uh, um, uh, that's valid for any kind of conversation with anybody you have, with your boss, with your uh, subordinates, with your wife, with your husband, the same way. You don't have to abide by their, their uh, the same frame of the conversation. No, no, it's not that. So, in here we have the mass media, we have the Pope, and we have the Russian Patriarch. And all this uh, discussion about the Russian Patriarch is framed by the mass media. And you, I have the right to say, no, the way you frame it, I disagree with your uh, uh, starting point. Okay? And I don't not abide by your definition or your limitations, because there are many other things that could be taken into consideration. And let's discuss and see what's going on. So. Maybe you know that, uh, let's say, uh, a meeting, I think, in Kazakhstan, or in Kazakhstan, I think, of uh, religious leaders. And the Pope will attend, but Kirill said, yeah, I might attend, I might not attend. Will they meet again? Will not meet again? And so on. Well, they will not meet again. Just broke the news for you here. So this article comes from Reuters, from uh, September 12, 2022. Listen to this title. Now, uh, this uh, is written by Philip Pulela. Pulela. Okay. Pulela writes like this. Russia's pro-war patriarch conspicuously absent in Pope's Kazakh trip. All right. So Russia's pro-war patriarch. This is the way he, Pulela, uh, Pula means something in Romania that uh, is not, uh, it's the, uh, how do you call it? The uh, reproduction or male reproduction organ. That's so when it's Pulela, it, for me, it's a very funny name. So, Mr. Pulela, which I'm going to use probably 50 more times during this video because it just makes me feel good. So, he, he already framed it. But the Patriarch is a pro-war and uh, he's not going to meet the, the, the Pope. Okay, let's see. Uh, pope Francis, Francis leaves on Tuesday for a peace meeting of world religious leaders in Kazakhstan, marked by the conspicuous absence of Russian Orthodox Patriarch Kirill, who supports the war in Ukraine. Kirill has been expected to attend the 7th Congress of Leaders of World and Traditional Religious, and Francis has several times said he was willing to talk to him. All right, so they met in Cuba in 2016. All right, well, let's Let's remind some uh, people about what happened before, okay? Uh, Pulela, I don't know he, if he mentions that, and I'm looking down, and he's not mentioning that. Okay, because he's Pulela, that's why he's not mentioning that. Why I mentioned already 12, they take your glass of wine, and every time I mention Pulela, pack, get a good drink. Again, Pulela, pack, another one. You're gonna get drunk by the end of this video. <laughs> All right, so, Russia's pro-war patriarch. Okay, can you name me one Pope that was pro-war? Probably you should start from about 1945, going back to wherever the Pope was first instituted. And each and every Pope might have 
a place and a time when they incited and planned the war and they incited their people there go and attack that I'm not gonna use the Crusades uh, which I just did uh, which were the same thing go and fight for this and that okay so that's pro war can you name another patriarch one patriarch that is pro war Kirill Kirill okay what about another one I'm listening oh you need time okay go and uh, check uh, the um, Google uh, Wikipedia whatever and then come back to me okay but I can uh, assure you that the popes you'd find rarely one that was not inciting or telling straight go and do that okay in the name of God and the church the infidels all right so it's kind of like strange that now we have a patriarch who's pro-war something that the popes did so many times now this article which is done by Pulela another one he tries to create this exactly what I'm doing right now me talking bad about either Kirill or Francis okay this is exactly what he wants me to, to do the problem here is that Puella will not succeed that but I'm just uh, sh trying to show how Puella tries to portray Kirill as a pro-war and the other guy as you know the same in this case well let's see why would Kirill want to meet Francis well if someone calls me Putin's altar boy and tells me hey st Emil stop being Putin's altar's boy okay people so remember the Pope the Pope Pope Francis called uh, Kirill uh, Putin altar's boy I don't think that kind of language uh, should be uh, expressed by a Pope I think the Pope would should uh, just mind his own business as Kirill should mind his own business with God and those worlds and heaven and hell and the devil and all that you know with that and that should be it I don't want them to tell me you know what uh, mental illnesses Putin has or you know things like who's right or who's wrong in the Donbass and who is offensive a counter offensive is better okay uh, these things uh, should not be in uh, the Pope or the patriarchs uh, agenda at all at all but they're very political and this coming from uh, the Pope hey uh, Kirill stop being Putin's altar boy and so on I think it's very insulting and besides I would like to hear uh, the Pope for instance talking the same way about his uh, predecessors about his prior popes uh, and I can mention, I can remember uh, what his uh, the exact name is, the one who collaborated with Nazis, for instance. We know that in the Second World War. How about that guy? I mean, if it's about being a weasel, I can be weasel and I have a lot of information on these kind of things. So, uh, you know, the papality is very, very much stained uh, if you talk about war and collaboration with warlords and with Nazis in particular. So coming this from the Pope, uh, besides the fact that, you know, um, I, I know that you're not supposed to judge. That's one thing that I think it's in the Bible. No judging, remember? Unless you're perfect and you're not. So um, even if you take Pope Francis' uh, expression, which I think was rude and beneath his, his I don't know, per persona, I think uh, you can't even take it as a suggestion because you talk about another person that you know something that doesn't have anything to do with you and you talk about war uh, yeah you can talk about war yeah this guy supports war like what oh he's not condemning war right okay like you condemn war you know it's, it's just uh, uh, I heard the Pope you know condemning all the Iraq wars and all the Syrian war and uh, Libyan and um, Serbian and all that Yugoslavia all those and uh, Afghanistan all those words I remember the Pope uh, you know uh, speaking against it a not so that sounds to me like hypocrisy and uh, I'm not saying he should not express his views but I think he should be concerned with God all right cross however he wants to make it or do it you know here, Ave Maria, no, uh, Spiritu Santi, ba ba ba. That's all. That's all you have to do. Um, but 
Uh, I think he's losing uh, he's look, losing a certain strata of the population when he behaves like this. Well, they will not meet, and I think Kirill avoided to speak with this person who uh, got so low. And maybe he just doesn't want to talk with this guy. What's wrong with that? That's his choice. They're going to meet in heaven when they go in front of uh, St. Peter and St. Peter is saying, okay, let's see. Uh, oh my God, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.